we have an alarm going off somewhere and we have no idea where the alarm is. We decided we were done with the normal life and set out to turn our lives into an adventure. This is our story. The good, the bad, and the crazy. Join us as we sail, explore, and share our mistakes along the way. Welcome to the Wayward Life. Where you going all the way to? Well, it's just after seven. The sun's just starting to come up. Max is still in bed. And we are leaving today. So we're going to head out at eight and head for Cortez Bay. It should be a good day. Just making my coffee. We woke up that morning with a beautiful sunny day. Excited, but also nervous to be heading out of the marina for the first time. Learning a new boat is kind of like entering into a new relationship. Every boat is different, with new quirks, systems, preferences, and strengths and weaknesses to learn. Each boat is almost like its own person. Papa Rumba has been no exception. From her sails to her electric systems, to the way she moves through the water, she is like no other boat we have sailed before. Well, we did it! We made it off the dock! It's exciting. It is exciting. We're going places in a boat. It's ours. We motored out into the dead calm water. And soon enough, found that breath of wind that we had been waiting for. Every boat has its lines and sail system set up a little bit different, so the first sail on any boat is a little bit of a challenge and a guessing game. For instance, Papa Rumba has a stack pack that is different than any we have used in other boats. This meant that we both had some of those what the heck is happening moments while trying to raise the main, but the gentle winds really made it easy to learn the system. Once the sails were up and the engine was off, the piece started to set in, until... We have an alarm going off somewhere and we have no idea where the alarm is. We just cut the engine and heard the alarm. So that's a little worrisome. I can't find it. It is louder back here, so... That's sketchy. We've got, we're going 2.3 knots. Fuck's oh, sake, arrow. Trying to figure out the GPS at the same time. Uh, pretty good. Now uh, we're out here, we shut the motor off. Um, Logan's phoning Amanda. Hoping that she can help. And I can't find it. Yep. But the boat's sailing well. So that's good. And it is still beautiful out. Um, oh, Taryn! What? Put the lever in reverse. Where's the lever? The gear lever. Oh, oh that was it. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Oh, that was stupid. So we just had to put the, <laughs> the lever in reverse on the engine. That was the, oh man, learning a new boat. Every single time you learn a new boat, it's like learning a new person. Like <laughs> so many little things to figure out. So, oh, that sounds way better. That's much less stressful. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Or this is good.
This is so comfortable. We're heeled over just a tiny bit and the boat's easy to stand in. Nothing's really moving around. It feels, it's just like sliding through the water, gliding nicely forward. Feels really good. Max is even mostly happy. I don't know, he doesn't really like the healing at all, but he's got his little bed. He's got his pillow. What do you think, buddy? Are we having a good adventure? Are we sailing? Yeah? Are we going for a sail? Are you on the sailboat? Yeah, good boy. Good dog. Yeah, we haven't figured our GPS out properly, but that'll happen soon, I'm sure. It's really nice out. It's a beauty day. So Marty and May decided they were going to be really nice and come out with us today to get video of us. Because as you've seen in many of our videos, May's awesome and gets us lots of video content. So they are behind us right now. They were trying to heave to in front of us and I think just as they were doing that we caught a bunch more wind. So they're trying to catch up. They've turned it into a race. They are so far not winning. But we did have a pretty good head start. They so, are back there. And we're ripping forward. What are we doing? 5.2. 5.2. So we caught a steady, I don't know, eight knots or something. We don't have a proper wind indicator. Again, this is the third boat we've owned with no wind indicator. Well, it has one. Or, okay, it's but broken. I'm sure Raven picked it off. <laughs> something stole our wind <laughs> indicator. <laughs> so we don't have one anymore. Or we have part of one. We it's have like part of one. half of one. It shows us the wind direction. It's not enough to work is what I'm saying. So <laughs> we don't know like how fast we're going. We know the direction we're going in, but we don't know how fast. We know the direction the wind's coming from. Five and a half knots is what we're doing. But I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like you can watch the water and it's better to learn how to watch the water, I think anyway, because you can say that it's like 15 knots and feel like 20. So we're just keeping an eye on the water. But it's not really changing, it's pretty steady right now. It's been steady for the past 20 minutes or so, so that's yeah, good. See, it's 8 to 10 knots. Yeah, I'd agree. It's not much. No. Marty and May's wind indicator was reading 8 knots, so we were excited to think that we could cruise at 5.5 knots with less than 10 knots of wind on a beam reach. We left Campbell River at about 8.20 this morning and we are heading to Cortez Bay which is on the edge of Desolation Sound. It's where we stayed the last night we were out with May and Marty in Desolation Sound in December. Our plan is to stay here I think like I don't know probably at least two days and just make sure that all of our systems are working properly. It's like a pretty safe little spot to stay in so there's also people around if things if things go awry. There's also a government dock there yeah um, yeah if we need to tie up so there's yeah there's options if if things don't go as we're hoping they're going to and so we'll stay there for a couple days we'll probably go for a hike or something and then we're gonna head into desolation sound i think but we'll see how it goes Trying out the autopilot. We were told that it doesn't work very well, and I think that's pretty bang on. <laughs> <laughs> What's it doing or not doing? It's not really keeping a course. Oh. It seems to be able to keep a course within like 20 degrees, maybe a little more. <laughs> Jesus. So that's not very useful for us. Good to know, I guess. Yeah, it's a good thing that this boat doesn't really need it. Other than that, it's a beautiful day. We've got wind. We have hardly any wind. Like, it's... I don't even know. Pretty much nothing. And we're still doing almost four knots. Like, look at the water. It's flat. Yeah, it's definitely less than ten knots of wind, I'd say. Yeah. So I'm pretty happy because we end up doing quite a bit of light wind sailing. <laughs> I don't even think I can use this thing. <sighs> Back to hand steering.
Well, the wind has died to maybe three knots. We are moving at 1.3 knots through the water and it is absolutely dead calm. We could turn on the engine, but it's just so peaceful and so perfect out here that I just want to enjoy the silence that I'm ruining the talking. Every once in a while you can hear the bong, bong, bong from the buoy that's over there. But other than that, it is dead silent. There's like just a tiny breath of wind. The bay is like just over there and I don't even know how far away we are, like half an hour maybe, tops. But look at this weather, it's just like such a perfect day to go and sit at anchor, I'm very excited about it. So it was dead calm and then we get super close to the bay and it's like ridiculously gusty all of a sudden. That's where we're going. They're almost there. Even though we had been in this bay before, it was our first time using this anchor on this boat, and using a new system that may very well be your lifeline is always nerve-wracking. in the exact same place that we were with Marty and May, pretty much. But with our boat this time, which is awesome. This is our first time anchoring. There is a little bit of wind, but it's not bad. Yeah, if the weather holds like this, it'll be an awesome night too. We spent the rest of the day enjoying the peace and quiet and sun in our new floating home on the water. Thank you so much for joining us. Next week we take you on a tour of an incredible forest on Cortez Island and face our first real Papa Ramba related frustration. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing, and an extra shout out to our patrons for helping to keep us going with these videos.